<sighs> okay, we're live with another Cartridge Club Hangout, and I am starting this way later than I meant to. Anyway, I'm here with Cody. How's it going? Hey, I'm doing good, man. Just checking out my cat. He's back here behind me. <laughs> Gave you a good spin intro, though. <laughs> oh, cool. <laughs> yeah, just chilling, enjoying the night. Uh, it's been a pretty relaxing day. Got some stuff accomplished around the house and our apartment and got some stuff organized and got some stuff out of the apartment. Just got this whole stack of books that I just held on to from college. And it's like, I'm never going to crack those open again. And I don't care to try to see if I can get a dollar off them. So I just put them outside and put a free sign on them. <laughs> <sighs> Yeah, apologies to anyone watching for the late start on this because uh, I went thrifting and it ended up being later than I meant to. And I ended up having to walk home because called a cab, waited 20 minutes, wasn't happening. <laughs> Is where you stay at uh, pretty chill, like easily walkable, not nothing yeah. to worry about? Yeah, I haven't bothered with a car just because it's not necessary. It just seems like it would be a lot of money for no real purpose. Yeah. What are you doing, Pip? Come here. I would have been able to walk home in that 20 minutes. It's just I, my legs were sore. I wanted to save it. <laughs> what, uh, what, um, what stores did you check out? Uh, just a bunch of thrift stores. Struck out game wise, just to disappoint everyone right off the bat. Um, Not one thing. No, I saw a copy of Blood Wake. That was a Platinum Hits edition. That was about the most exciting thing I found game wise. What the heck was that on Xbox? Yeah, kind of a uh, edgy wave. Not edgy wave race. Edgy um, hydro speedboat. Yeah, yeah. I don't have it. <laughs> yeah, it was like three bucks Canadian. Dude, that's what I I scored big on the past couple of weeks is uh well this last week is a lot of Xbox like titles. Oh I think I showed you some of those last time. So maybe. But I do have more. I know I have more. Yeah. Cause they just came in and some NES. I got a bunch of NES for two bucks a piece. All right, I'm just sorting through my pickups because I literally got back, set all my stuff down, ate, and turned to this on. <laughs> what'd, you, what'd you eat, dude? Uh, That's always important. Uh, luckily, for once, I went by A&W, and they actually had the uh, Beyond Meat burger. I'm vegan, so the options for me around town are not substantial. But um, A&W? Yeah, and W has the Beyond Meat Burger wow. now. I don't know if that's even in the U.S. I know the root beer is, but I don't know if the restaurants are. Anyway. Yeah, I, I think to me that's a strange uh, item, but that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> you probably have more access to like just buying that uh, the burger patties like in your grocery stores and stuff like that than I do. It's not like made its way into the stores here yet. It's just like A&W, I think, was the first place in Canada you could get it. And uh, my review is, it's fine. It's better than oh. most veggie burgers that you can get at a flat fast food place. And I needed food fast. <laughs> so that worked for me. <laughs> but seriously, the first, like, um, they said that, like, they it took two months for them to figure out how many they needed to actually keep it in stock. It's the mm -hmm. first, when they first got them, and I won't go on much longer about this, but when they first got them, that was the first time I walked into a fast food place and it said sold out on a thing and that happened every time i went so i just stopped going for like a month or two and it's like i finally got it <laughs> no that's that's cool i mean like adequate <laughs> oh yeah i know like it. sorry god i know like uh a fast food uh not a and w but arby's mm -hmm. they did uh elk sandwich last year and i think this or venison that would be and then the this year, opposite of what I'm looking for. <laughs> yeah, I think this year they're doing some kind of other wild game sandwich, and like, mm. uh, they only get so many of them, 
and then they're out. The thing that I really liked is they have a restaurant here called uh, Taco Jones, which is a fast food taco chain and burritos. And it's it's pretty good, you know, definitely not healthy. Yeah. Pretty good, though. And uh, I I grew up with Taco Jones even when I lived back in Iowa. There was Taco Jones there. So, I'm a, I, you know, it's a fairly wide chain, but it's not national completely. Mm. And um, they have this this churro they think they this churro they do churro <laughs> is what it's called it's like uh deep fried uh something but they, then they roll it it's like a, a crispy like bread type thing but it's not mm -hmm. bread it's i don't explain it but it's uh they roll it in cinnamon sugar but and they fill it with some kind of are you just like, describing a churro right now? Yeah, churro. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what the heck a churro even is. I'm not. I don't. Do I, but I'm familiar with them. I don't usually eat them, but they're really good. And then I'm talking about the the, the Taco Johns does a holiday one. It's it's a pumpkin filled one, a pumpkin spice. And oh man, that thing was so good, dude. And I was going back, and I, I think I ate like three of them. And after that, I went to order it, and it was sold out. I was so disappointed. I was like, what? You, you got to be kidding me, you know? Huh. I don't think I've ever actually had a churro. Hmm. Doesn't matter. Hell, I'm, Can I'm a Canadian that's never tried poutine. I guess I missed that boat. <laughs> 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 don't care. <laughs> what the... Poutine's the the sauce, right? Fries the gravy? and gravy and cheese curds. And oh, let dude, me tell you, even before I went vegan, the word curd... For cheese curds, that was like hit. Just it always got me. This was like the most disgusting thing I could think of. <laughs> I want to try it. I've heard a lot about it, like the fries and gravy and, and stuff. Yeah, I'm probably gonna try a vegan though. variety of it at some point. <laughs> it's okay, Pip. This is my shy cat. <laughs> what are you doing, Pip? We tink. He's a pity girl, aren't you? Yes, he's a Russian, Russian blue kitty. <laughs> she's a good cat she's yeah. just really shy and doesn't like to be held a whole lot she'll let she'll come yeah. up to you and let you check her out but she doesn't have it very long then she gets irritated what do you think what do you think pip what do you think you can just go hang out in here with me you hang hey. out? my first cat was a russian blue named ivy no, she isn't a fool. Cat. She's a mutt, but we think she's definitely part. She definitely looks like mm. one. Yeah. Yes, you good girl, aren't you, Peppa? Yes. <laughs> cats are awesome. I don't have yeah. any right now, but there are neighborhood cats that come by. They really like my backyard for some reason. I'm not complaining. Yeah, I... I don't like the free roaming cats too much. We, our neighbor actually has a whole bunch, and they just use make. They made the side of his place in a litter box, and it's just mm. disgusting. It's like, oh my gosh, you can smell it, and it's like, dude, you know, go clean that up. You know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know whose cat it is, but I there's one that comes around. That's the only one that like gives me the time of day. The other ones just like run as soon as I open the door, but uh. <laughs> Yeah, nice to have a visiting cat every now and again. Sorry, I keep looking all over the place. I'm trying to decide which books to grab off my shelf to show for the pickups later. Oh, uh, that's no big deal. I'm looking around, too. I'm just kind of looking at, you know, uh, I kind of got a little mess going on here from mm -hmm. recording the other day, and I was starting to get stuff organized, and I know that I still have to put this stuff in spreadsheet before I can shelve it. And then I got a bunch of stuff over here that I know some of it I've showed, but I need to do a spreadsheet for that. And I'm just trying to figure out what I showed you last week. And I think this is what I didn't show you guys. Yeah. Last week I showed you like Halo, right? Yeah, the original one. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So I got that one. And so that stack right there. I that showed you Cloud, Cloud Master too, right? Mm -hmm. I think so. 
Yeah, I think I showed you that. Too. Hey, we did Halo I'm for a, sure a month a little while ago. If you want to go back and find the episode on that. Uh, yeah, yeah. If, if I you mean, want to. Yeah, I. I'm just trying to get my organization here so I know what the heck is. Basically, these are all my October pickups because I ordered mm -hmm. them. Some I had to wait on, but I got them all in October, so I'm going to yeah. count them in October. And I'm just about. I'm I'm going to shoot a video, I think, pretty soon. Not that it'll be anything great, and then I'm going to start uploading. I got some stuff I need to start getting uploaded. That I just been. I started an EMT class. I went to my first EMT hmm. course last night. So. Nice. Running a kind of a trade on top of my fire training, so hmm. <clears throat> so I may end up working an ambulance. Working in an that's GameCube. Yeah, dude, I I got a ton. So one of these games I got though from this guy, I didn't look at the picture close enough. A little disappointed at what I got, but I don't. I don't think I'm too too worried about it because I mean I'm probably not going to play it. <laughs> I just, you know, realistically, I probably won't. Mm. I might visit it, but mm. I don't think I'll actually sit down and be playing it like crazy. This is yeah. a cool pick up here. Just out of curiosity, because I've never asked how in. What is your stance on like comic book interest? Um, I don't really, I don't really have one. I okay, used to kind of be into them a little bit, but mm. it's nothing that I've really gotten too big into. Yeah, that's fine. I just was curious. I mean, I think it's interesting to see what other people mm. like in that, but. Yeah, I doubt you'll be into me showing 50 books. I'm trying to narrow it down. Oh. <laughs> buying bu buying in bulk with 50 to 60% off on an outlet website. It had been a while, so I went a little nuts. <laughs> yeah. Well, dude, that's how you got to do it. Yeah. Pippa, no. Hold on. I got to let the cat out. Okay. She's going to tear something up. <laughs> Come on, Pip. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, you can get out of here. Go, that a good girl. <clears throat> yeah, she was thinking about climbing on my arcade, and I got some junk up there I don't want her getting on. And... Mm. Yeah, that'll do it. <laughs> I'll just show you this one comic thing, just because it's funny. I don't know how much I'll show of it like later for the pickups, but uh. I had this from when I was a kid, this uh, Batman vs. Predator comic. Oh, dude, that sounds awesome, actually. Yeah. They're the kind of, edition. They're about as much as you would expect out of a comic book crossover with the Predator. But um, hmm. So this is what I had as a kid, and uh, this is the original trade of it. But what I didn't know as a kid, there were two more, and they just recently recollected all three of them. Hmm. I got this for like, 10 15 bucks, I think. Hey, it said, book. sorry, sorry to interrupt, said Eric mm -hmm. and Melissa joined the chat, and then... Yeah, and then they Eric, left. They left. Okay. Might be having technical difficulties. Okay. Sorry, go ahead. Let's see no, what you got fine. next. No, 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 I'm not showing anything else next. I just thought that was a... Due to the Predator connection, that would be more familiar. It's kind of a funny little thing. There's Eric. Oh, yeah. Eric... Hello? Hey. What up? Hey, guys. How's it going? Uh, pretty cool. Pretty quiet today. Yeah. Sorry for the late start, by the way. That's all right. How's the old Octopath Traveler going? Well, I don't know. I'm not playing. <laughs> See, you busted chops on video about it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, Melissa's playing it. I haven't, uh, I haven't tried it at all.
Uh, quiet here, huh? Yeah, a little bit. I'm just going through. So, Eric, do you do the video upload stuff? Yeah. Um. So how does that work? See, I did a we did a pickups video the other night. Yeah. From PRG, it's a little late, but we we did one. Yeah. And so, where do I upload or submit? You know, for review. You mean to YouTube, or do you mean to the Cartridge Club? Cartridge Club. Uh, Is that you? Or? I there's a web page here. Hang on. <laughs> there's a there's a community submission page. Okay. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. I, I don't just know follow that. Account. I think. Yeah, I like I said, I, I did see that, but I didn't know if like I needed to let them look at it before they would. Uh... Oh yeah. Well, okay. So you know, I have a special thing because they gave me my own section on the website. Yeah. But so I have to upload it to my section. But for you, I, there's a submit content section submit, yeah. under community. So if you go to the main page and you go to click the community bar and then submit content, there's a page. And that's probably how you have to do it for a while. Sure. <clears throat> That's I don't know I haven't gone through that process because I have my own little. Uh, so do I, I? Do I basically just do all my own opener and that, and then they just uh, link it to theirs if they do it? Uh, I'm not sure how they do that. I they have the. Um, I can't I remember the, where I, I got part. the. I'm sorry. sorry, I was going to say I think the short answer is talk to Musty. <laughs> yeah, talk to Musty. Or rocket sauce. I mean, Rocket sauce. Yeah. <laughs> There's a place where the community bumpers, you know, the cartridge club bumpers are stored. Talk to them about it. Mm -hmm. I That's think. For, yeah. For community stuff, you might need to submit things a few times until, you know, they get to know you and then mm. you can go from there. So I'll have to check out your YouTube video. Yeah, I'll probably just put it under Toys Girls or my Have own. you uploaded it to YouTube yet? No, I that's why I was asking you. Oh. Um I was gonna talk to whoever was in here tonight, whoever did the video, if I needed to do an intro on it of my own or if they added theirs. I don't I don't know. No, no. You so look, the cartridge club community thing, it's it, it it has to be on YouTube to begin with. Yeah. Like when I do it, I just provide a link to my YouTube channel. I, okay. I don't think that they have the capability of having the, the video hosted by their site. No, I think I, it's basically just a curated list of Cartridge Club content. Yeah. It's not a unique okay. video player. So you got to, you, okay. yeah, you got to upload it to YouTube anyway. And then I just link to it. Yeah. And for the Cartridge Club bumpers for like the logo to pop up before your video, they have that. They can just give it to you, and you can edit it into the beginning of your video. Yeah. Yeah, I'll probably do it tomorrow. I, I got to do an intro and oh. getting my finally getting my computer stuff set up a little bit. So oh. my game room's still in shambles, but it's almost getting to workable. I was able to shoot hmm. that video. Got a bunch of stuff for two bucks, a bunch of games for two bucks a game from this guy on eBay with free shipping. <laughs> What'd you do for dinner, dude? Asking me? Yep. <laughs> we, we had leftovers. Oh. No. <laughs> we had some leftover, uh, some leftover chicken and rice, and so we threw it together in a pot and called it a different dish. 
That works. Dude, it was that's like, hilarious. It was like cheap pa paella. We just threw Spanish rice and chicken and some veggies into a into a frying pan and heated it all up together. And I love leftover night because it's free and it's just reheat. You're you're just like you talking to me. <laughs> well, I didn't. I'm so yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't well, know. It's, who, it's just the three of us right now, right? Yeah. So I I'm trying that. to respond to some YouTube comments too. So <laughs> I always do that. Would you eat? <laughs> People are like, "What?" Her? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've got in my uh, comics pile. Everything was already on the shelves, so I'm just taking stuff off. I have narrowed it down from probably fifty bucks down to fifteen to actually show. I might not even show all of those. What's this? You got fifty comics to show? Yeah. yeah. It, and obviously, Since last I've, week. Uh, from the last couple weeks, like I order from an outlet site, so they take like a week, week and a half to ship everything. So I ordered it a while ago, and I've gotten a couple of new books from Amazon as well. I'm doing a big DC catch up right now, hmm. but a lot of it's like just kind of more fluff in terms of what would be interesting to show. I might just rattle off the rest of the list after if we even get into it. I know the comics interest on here is limited. Yeah, I don't know much about the comics. No, nah, it's fine. It's just... Obviously, I want to show some of it, but I'm just trying to be <laughs> reasonable. <laughs> you want to do... Are you doing that? Do you want to do that now, or you want to wait oh, for... Oh, God, no. Okay. I just ended up... Um, I only got home, like, half an hour ago, so I basically... Have been going over everything since I set this up. I'm just figuring everything out. Yeah, I actually got quite a bit to show too. Once I got it all separated, I mean it's not too bad, but yeah, Eric, did you see that a uh, transformer I showed off a week or two ago? No, I don't think uh, so. This guy. Let me see. Oh, what is he? He's a uh, frack. What's his name? Some um, battle slash. Okay, is that an original? Doesn't look uh, like one I'm familiar with. I, I think they did. It's uh, part of the duo cons from I think one of the later sets of G1. They remade this guy, and they also remade um, Road Trap. Is the other half of the duo cons. Oh yeah, I remember those. They were like two ro two two vehicles that transformed into one robot or something. Yeah, they they have their own robot modes, obviously, and vehicle modes, but uh, they do combine. Oh, they combine. Okay. Yeah, it's they're like the smaller class of transformer, but they combine, so they're kind of the regular size class when they're together. I like nice, that gimmick, nice. so I got them. Took a long time to find them together, though, at least online. And then, of course, I go to Walmart today. Tons of them. Yeah, yeah. Isn't that always? Yeah. Waited almost the entire generation of the toy line. And I find them just in bulk at the end. Uh, the Transformers <laughs> are going to be a thing, I think. I'm seeing every single one from the new line that I've seen a review on. I'm like, crap, that's really cool. <laughs> Except for the battle damage they put on them. They have, like, painted on dirt and scuffs and... Ugh. But they're good G1 designs, other than that. Yeah, that's not really worth saving until later, so I figured I'd just show you. That's cool. Some of these new Transformers are pretty cool. Mm -hmm. I've got two more <laughs> from today. Yeah. That's great. This has gone all fiddle fat of food already in terms of scheduling, so I got Hungar. Oh, I used to have that guy. And G1. Ripper Snapper. Yeah. I'm working on Abominus. Yeah. Simply. We used to have the G1, the original. Yeah, awesome. But that these new cool. ones look really cool. They look much yeah. more. I mean, they were crappy before. They had these little tiny arms. Yeah. They had a G1 reissue of Hot Rod at Walmart today. Yeah. The original Hot Rod G1 figure. It was 40 bucks, and I was like, yeah. It's cool nostalgia-wise. 
But those G1 figures were kind of garbage. Yeah, they were kind of garbage. Yeah. But these new ones look great. Yeah. That's pretty cool, man. So you have four, three more to go for Abominus? Yeah. Blot, rip, nope, uh, River Snapper is the one I just showed. Blot, Sinner Twin, and... <laughs> Shit, those are the two I remembered. Hey, I wish they put them on the box. Cutthroat. Yes. The Cut bird throat. thing, right? Yes. That's one I had, yeah. Yeah, those are cool. I've seen those around. Um, I haven't. I, I've been tempted to buy all five of them, too. But uh, I think between two stores once in about a week's period, I could have gotten all five. Maybe not Hunger. Mm. I yeah. don't know. Hunger was a rare sight for me. So I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to grab them. Yeah. Ripper Snapper is all over the damn place. <laughs> That's hilarious. Dude. Yeah. Eric. <laughs> My life and collecting's comment. <laughs> Oh, on which video is this? On oh, one of Joe's videos? No, the oh his comment to yours. On my video. Oh. Joe yeah. commented. <laughs> Mrs. Q is talking dirty about grinding. Yes, you do. <laughs> Whatever. They're always they're always busting our chops about something. <laughs> it's a bit of a running gag with their stuff. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Amazon's overcharging on those three figures right now, of course. They're not great for Transformers. Who is it? Amazon? Yeah. They're very hit or miss. Yeah, okay. I might see if you can find the other three for me, since you seem to have seen them. I have, but it was, yeah, I, I, I'll certainly look, uh, but it was, uh, don't go out of your way, but if you happen across them in your travels. Sure. Yeah, I'll check it out. Uh, yeah, that, we, I think it was at Target. Which we don't have here anymore. Yeah, you don't have. So. Yeah, it's a Walmart now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> where I got I'll those. let you know. I'll let you know. Right. Yeah. Walgreens is a place you can look for Transformers, apparently. That's an odd one. Oh, yeah. They have exclusive ones sometimes. You're kidding. Yeah, I was going to say, Walgreens is one of those stores that sounds like they'd have the exclusive. Yeah. Yeah, what's the one that I wanted that I couldn't get because it was Walgreens exclusive? Freaking. There's been so many Transformers. But uh, if you want a really good, like, simple set of G1 type figures, look at the new Siege line. That is probably the best Optimus I've seen in a while, and I have two of them from recent lines. Just like. No big gimmicks. It's just a really good version of the original thing. It's like a mini masterpiece, actually. Oh, really? Like, what, like a mini version of the masterpiece line. Like, it's got that complexity, but not too much. Mm -hmm. But it just looks like the original G1 figure. It even like has the arms coming out from the same place they did on the side. It's, there's lots more steps with this one. It okay. looks good. I like the one from uh, the last line that had the gimmick where it was um, the mo majority of the robot was kind of a shell, and you took out the chest and the head, and it turned into either the cab or Orion Pax. Oh, yeah. And then the rest of the body turned into the trailer. Yeah. Really cool. You got to clear some time in the day, though. <laughs> it's a complicated transformation. Oh, well, really? Do you have that and one? Yeah, I have that one. I'm, oh, I'll just grab cool. it off the shelf. It's behind like 20 things, so you might hear a crash and a boom. But, um. Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, I'll grab the other Optimus. Why not? I'm feeling dangerous. There's so many Transformers on that shelf. It's insane. Ugh. I'll show them in order. Um, this is the uh, Power Master from two lines ago. Okay. I think. Titans. This thing's pretty big. Jeez. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, that's Titans Returns. You can tell because it's a headmaster. Everybody's a headmaster. Oh that's yeah, a cool concept, but a pain in the ass. Yeah, yeah. I like with these and uh, like a uh, six shot. You don't actually have to take the head off. Anyway, mm -hmm. hey Ryan. Hello. Hey Ryan. Hello. Just Rocket sauce. What's up, dude? 
Not much, not much. Did you save her any more McRibs lately? Uh, I have, I think my count's up to five at the moment. <laughs> oh, so, man. Damn. Yeah. Well, Gotta get a, hey, you know, if, this wouldn't be the case if it was on the menu year round, you know. Yeah. To give you that month, you know, you have to get them in. You get, get your feel for the year. Tomorrow, man. Uh, which one was that? Uh, yeah, man? sorry, Ryan. I was just showing uh, Eric a couple of the last uh, Optimus Primes from Transformers. This is the Power of the Primes one. Which, Damn, those are big. Yeah, like here's the Legends class <laughs> figure for said. comparison. Jesus. And, uh, but yeah, this guy's awesome. Just the look. You can see like there's trailer panels on his arms and stuff. Yeah, yeah. But uh, in terms of even just as a display piece, this guy's awesome. But if you want to do the full transformations, yeah, clear some time out of your day. That's the one with Orion Pax in it? Yeah, I just took the chest piece out. And, uh, they It comes with a matrix as well. That's cool. Yeah. That's a cool one to have. Yeah, it was like 60 bucks Canadian, so probably 50, wow. 45 US. He's worth picking up if you find him. But again, like the new one that's coming out, if you want just pure G1, no gimmicks. Wow, that's a weird freaking half mode. <laughs> <laughs> but um, if you want like just no gimmicks, just kind of the standard G1 look, wait for the new one. All right. Might be a little cheaper too. Not sure. The vehicle mode is tiny apparently, but the figure itself is a decent size. Okay. Just compacts a lot. And you're right, Ryan, you can take this away from Transformers talk if you want. I was gonna tell Ryan everyone. <laughs> I was gonna tell you, we got the uh, our McDonald's uh, got the uh, two McRibs for six. Ooh, oh, that's a deal. so I grabbed that is a deal. Uh, I grabbed two of those last night and they ate I one for dinner. Sandwich and alone for lunch. Five bucks almost. Yeah. That's yeah, right. ours are five even here. Yep. For one. Yeah, the meal's six bucks. Mm. It's like, but like the burger this the burger. The, the delicious rib meat that's compressed <laughs> mm. into a rib like form. You know, right, you're, gonna make, you're gonna make fit and vomit. The the, the premium vomit the premium spam tr spam trimmings. <laughs> mm. Do you really ask for it without pickle and onion? Of course, that's <laughs> disgusting. When have you ever ordered ribs with pickles and onions? I don't Never. know, but I eat them on the sandwich, so it's good. That's the southern way. That's the southern way, isn't it? Pickles with everything and onions on it for barbecue. I nothing I've ever seen. I think it is. I think that's a southern style. They know barbecue I ever heard of. Ah. <sighs> Mini diversion back to the transformer. Back to a second for Eric. This is Orion Pax, outside of the armor. Oh yeah, yeah. It's very G one esque, but just kind of an awesome thing. And here's the armor next to it. Yeah, <laughs> this comes in the trailer. But uh, <laughs> extra regular size uh, deluxe. That's Orion Pax. Okay. he's still pretty big. Yeah, All right, yeah. That's and cool. that's the sub figure. This turns into the cab of the car. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I'm done for that. <laughs> That's cool. All right. Okay. Done with that. Sorry, I'm talking about my YouTube comments, not the transfer. I'm just trying to remember what other fast food places has got going on at the moment. Taco Bell, you got your Xbox box, you know? Yeah, I haven't won any. Not happy about it, you know? Does anybody ever win those? I got to... You'd think they'd you know, put up a the, YouTube the, video or something. I the Carney had uh, the gold PS4 because I remember that was a, the um, that was the Xbox one. So someone definitely locally won it, hmm. and they, they you know promoted like one winner every twenty seconds allegedly. Yeah. Yeah. So I've only had three of those, but I haven't won yet. I, it looks pretty. Do you nice, believe? Because I, I believe it is random. But do you believe the um, box number? is the code that wins or do you believe it as like, it's just that you're lucky to hit it at that right moment for that code. When you have to I text think it. it's, I think it's done. Yeah. I think it's, it's not the code that win it. It's when you, you enter the code and they verify it's a valid code. And then it's randomly determined, you know, in that window of time, whether yours is the winner or not. Mm -hmm. And then if the winner has already been picked for that, I, I'm guessing if the winner has already been picked for that period, then 
you know, it shuts them all out to just you haven't won. But I please figure, try again tomorrow. Yeah, I, I don't think the code has anything to do with it other than to verify that it's a valid code. Mm-hmm. I think they randomly pick on the compute on their side whether that particular entry is going to win or not. Is that, mm-hmm. is that what you asked? Yeah, I was just generally curious what you thought because, you know. They don't really quite say how it works, you know. They, you know, they just, just say like there's one winner every twenty seconds. You know, when I when I did it, when they did that the first time, I would save my codes, and then I would wait until like a time when I figured most time zones in the U.S. are probably not eating Taco Bell. You know, because I figure most people probably text in their code like when they're when they get it. Mm-hmm. So I just rip the code off the box and then save it until like one a.m. Come on, that's and, fourth meal time. What are you thinking? Now, uh, sometime, sometime when I figure no one's entering their codes. That's, that's what Taco Bell is known for, especially I guess, you know after drunk hours. If you go to that drive-through, they're one of the few places yeah, open. Yeah, yeah, no, I know. Okay. So that was an example, but sometime when I figured no one was, fewer people are entering, but it didn't obviously it didn't help that I didn't win anything. So who knows? Yeah. Anyone else try the Nightmare Whopper or the Nightmare King? So with now, seen the ad for it. I would if mm-hmm. I had one here, but we don't have one. We don't have Taco Bell here either. You got to drive on. Oh us. man, I would. I would get up and move. We are. We are. Trust <laughs> me, we're definitely in the plans. You know, like when you're looking at I your next move. place, like okay, that's something you have to map out. Like where's the Taco Bell? Where's the BK? You know, the BK Lounge. Where's the yep. your Wendy's here? You know, we're actually talking about doing Thanksgiving with. Uh, Toys Girl's sister, and uh, that's where we're thinking about moving over there. It's about four hours west, Kalispell area. So, is there Taco Bell nearby? Oh, yeah, they got everything there. That nice. place is starting to boom. Well, that's so you know it's booming if there's a Taco Bell there. Ugh. There's just stuff being built everywhere. <clears throat> that wasn't discussed. I got pulled by my headset. <laughs> is a uh... Are you like ever, and this goes for anybody, I guess, here, like if when you go to like a new place on vacation and you see a, a different fast food chain that you normally haven't seen, do you normally like have to hit it up? Uh, no. No. That's something for me. That is definitely something I do. No. I forgot where the. Um... I have down south, like they had a, what was it, a Whataburger? Yeah, Whataburger. That's and, a Texas. No, I, I did do the. The other burger place, it's the California one. Uh, in and out. out. Yeah, in and out. When we went there to Cali, a couple times we ate there. So the sp- the cheaper spinoff, Water Burger and another burger <laughs> or other burger. See, here's another one. My buddy, he lives in uh, Mississippi. I met him on P- PSN, and like uh, he calls me now. You know, we our friendship evolved, but. Uh, he told me about this other chain that they have down south Louisiana, Mississippi area called Wards. And like he's you gotta come down here and have this Wards uh chili chili cheeseburger. And I'm like, Yeah, man, one well, of these times when we meet up, you know, we'll definitely check it out. And he's like, That thing will wreck your intestines. <laughs> so that's how you know it's good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, chili um, cheeseburger. I'm trying to remember there was where it was I had it, I want to say somewhere in the south, but they have like a a fast food place that's just chicken tenders. I can't remember the name of that place, but all they did was just chicken tenders. You know, and Chick Fil A. No, it wasn't Chick Fil A. It was just Chick Fil A is mostly you know different type of chicken yeah. sandwiches, but they do tenders now though. Yeah, but this place they was just straight up tenders. straight up tenders, and it wasn't Chick Fil A. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. Where did you hear about? Where was this? Where did you see it? I'm trying to remember where I had it last. I don't remember if it was when I was coming back from like Florida or from Texas. And it was definitely in the airport, but I drove past the um, a couple places, at least driving around town. You know, you would see it. And, um, maybe it's called Fritters. I'm going to take a look at that right there. See if we can find anything about it. That might be the name. Uh... I actually thought that burger at the Rogue was awesome. Yeah, that was a good burger. Man, we go back there next year. I'd love to eat there again. I like that double burger. That was good. Mm hmm.
Maybe this is it. Maybe this is it. Raising Canes. Okay. Well, sorry, I'm looking up the logo here because it looks familiar. I think this might be it, actually. Yeah, Raising Cane's Chicken Fingers. Okay. Yeah, just an example, I guess, if you will. Well, that makes more sense. Sorry, I'm transforming something that I'm not familiar with. Where the heck's base guy at? He's at weird games? hours where he works, basically. Sometimes he works late or he has to get up early. So I know he's been bat battling the flu for a while. You know what, dude? Freaking, uh, I think I got that uh, crud last crud? Uh, Yeah, last week. It, it, it finally hit me last week and, like, for the last four days, I start. I felt really shitty, dude. Like, you probably no, had actually... some item you bought. Someone coughed in it, you know, and then you <laughs> yeah. tested. You opened up the test and cleaned, and it got you right in the face, you know. Sure. Yeah. Now I'm now I'm feeling fine, but literally like overnight, but I was feeling pretty crappy there for a few days. Strikes when you least expect it. Of course, I've been getting a ton of stuff on eBay lately. I got some more stuff mm -hmm. coming too, but I've been finding some real cheap stuff. Some of it needs cleaned. I'm very disappointed, and uh, I found out last week or the week prior. Um, so right before I left for Portland, I uh, I went to my normal thrift shop that I hit up Monday through Thursday because, um, what's it called? They have student discount, and I have my old student ID, and they still give me my discount for. It. <laughs> Shop in there. Uh, it closed. Student discount. Yeah, I, I came back this week to, to go there and closed completely. The, nothing in the store. Whoa. They put up, sorry, thanks for the business. And I'm like, what? You know, like no sign. And the thrift store, the next store, the next store to us, just Ooh. terrible. It, it's really fancy. It's like the most, it's a rich man thrift store where like yeah. they're, selling, they're selling old furniture for like, Two to five hundred dollars for an old couch or something like that, you know. That ain't a thrift store I want to be a part of. Yeah. yeah. How about no? Yep. Yeah. Uh. No deals that place. No deals. Another diversion for Eric. Here's the duo cons combined. This is battle oh, trap. Yeah. Look at that. That's yeah. Pretty cool. Even has. Waste swivel because of the way it transforms. Yeah. Neat. Yeah. Yeah, I remember those duo cones. Those are a lot nicer than the old ones. Mm. Every single remake of a G1 figure is better it's than the better, G1 I know. figure. <laughs> I tell people it's like the kids who grew up playing with them and realized how inadequate they were became designers for them and made them a lot better. Yeah, the engineering is part of the reason I'm still into them. It's like yeah. that and nostalgia obviously and just their puzzles they're puzzles so they're just fun to transform yeah i usually don't even look at the manuals to start sometimes if i hit a snag i'll just look at a youtube video but i like trying to figure it out myself first mm. yeah engineering is super impressive on that new optimus it's what is it called it's coming out next week not next week that I'm aware of. I think they started showing up in the U.S., but no Canadian sightings yet. Just follow Stephen if you want to know when those show up. But um, <laughs> it's um, War for Cybertron Siege. Something. So just look up Transformers Siege. Optimus Prime. Thank you for and you muted yourself. No. I'm muted now. Yeah, you're fine now. Yeah, I think this thing knows what I'm typing, not to... I was at, I was wondering if it was those siege ones. I've heard about these siege ones from Stephen. Yeah. Stephen Eider, and I I don't know what they are, but yeah, here. They're just a new line. It's right here. Yeah. Fifty five dollars. Yeah, it's a, one of the larger ones. Probably the same size class as the 
one that I showed you that the core comes out. Cool. The <laughs> cab itself is apparently like this the height of a Legends figure. Like you showed a Sharktacon next to it and it was about the same height. But it transforms mm. into a full size Optimus and it's impressive engineering. Because it's much smaller in vehicle mode than it is robot mode. Yeah, okay. Yeah, there's no there's no pictures of it, just the box. Look up uh what's the YouTube channel? Bolt Matrix did a review of it recently. Okay. I'll check it out. Sorry, God, there's so many lines of transformers and I can't even keep track of oh, yeah. Jeez. Yeah. It's oh, a thing. The, here's the duo con. Here's the other duo con, I think. What other duo con? I don't know. This looks like one of the I don't know, maybe it's not. It's a siege. Sky tread. I know they're doing. Um, Maybe it's not a duo con. I thought it was. Battle. It like one of the G1 ones. I'm not. Battle something is the line. I don't know. I Can you tell I didn't get into Transformers so much through the toy as through the cartoon? I have no idea what the toy lines were called. Yeah, I don't either. Yeah, this one. Siege Deluxe Class Sky Tread Action Figure. It looks like a tank in an airplane. And then they combine into a one large robot. I don't know if they have separate robot modes, though. Robots. Like the ones you showed me do. And it's not saying they're called dual cons. It's just, this looks like one for the G1 line. It was a tank in an airplane. And you stick them together and they can combine to form one robot. His name is Skytread, if you want to look it up. Yeah, I'm looking at the whole toy line. I'll just post in the group chat for if you want to look at what the whole line is planned out to be. All right. That's a smart decision. <laughs> so I found this at a pawn shop for 25 bucks. Is it a good buy for an NES? Yeah, yeah. as long as it works. Yeah. That's an easy fix. Mm -hmm. Original adapters and controllers. No gun, though. And he threw in, I got the one double cart game, Mario Duck Hunt. Mm -hmm. And I didn't have that one, surprisingly. So I got that. And then uh, he threw... Uh, two games in for me, and I'll show you what he what I got. I got uh, I didn't have either one of them. Here's the Mario Duck Hunt game, in which you know I didn't have that for some reason. It seemed so common, and mm -hmm. didn't have it, so I got this and this other game nice. for five bucks more. Ooh, Chippendales. That's good. Yeah. So Excited thirty bucks. Okay. 30 bucks for all that. Very nice. <clears throat> then I got these from a guy on eBay here. A uh, couple bucks a game, free shipping. That's a okay. tank. Well, we might as well go into pickups since <laughs> you just got that started anyway. I was showing Transformers already. Screw it. Yeah. Go, go yeah, on, I'm just yeah. gonna show. I mean, I got a lot to show. I'll just. Yeah, don't worry about it. Okay. That game is weird. I tested. it. I was like, "What the heck?" It's like trivia. Top Gun. Oh. Got to get ready for Top Gun Two, man. Yeah, say the name. <laughs> I've got a tab over. Do you have Top Gun Two for the NES? I don't. <laughs> what was the last game you showed? Uh Narc. Okay, and uh, just like Ninja Bob. Turtles. Yeah, this is Bugs Bunny Blow. Yeah, dude, this game's actually pretty cool. I was testing this. So I was like, dude, this this game actually, you know, that's what isn't that sure bad. Said. Yeah, I mean, I was kind of like, yeah. this game's actually pretty cool. The jump mechanics pretty close to like a Mario fluidness. Um, I got this for a couple bucks. I don't have the gun. I really need to get a Dreamcast gun, but. Blue oh, I didn't realize you can use the gun on Blue Stinger. Yeah, I think that's the the gun, isn't it? I thought Shows that was like more like a Resident Evil game. I thought that was more of a Resident Evil game. I think he used the gun on it. Let me look. I could have sworn that Blue Stinger was a gun game. You're going to have to buy the generic one, not licensed by Sega, because Sega never released one here in the U.S. Oh, really? Yep. 
Well, you up in Europe and Japan, and I guess those don't work in the U.S. Dreamcast. Oh, it was, it was a Climax game at that. I didn't know that. Are you, are you done, or were you just doing it? I was just checking to see if that Blue Stinger was a gun oh. game. I could have sworn it was. Maybe not. I thought it was a Resident Evil type game, too. Hmm. A launch yeah, Dreamcast game, though, I believe, right? Yeah, it's a launch. I picked so, it up in the last year or two because I was, yeah. Got that. A couple dollars, Star Wars for Game Boy. Yeah. Ooh. Uh, I got this, and I don't know why. I, I just thought it sounded interesting. One of the videos? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, it was the Nickelodeon. Was. Yeah, I was like, I wonder what it actually looks like. Bad. <laughs> It looks bad. <laughs> <laughs> um, I didn't have this game yet. This one's pretty rough. I know where another copy is. I'm probably going to pick up and just make a nicer looking copy. Um, yeah. I don't know much about it. This one I picked up and I actually got this in town and I stole the cover from it in the manual. So all I got is like a beat up disc in case. But So I ended up completing my copy of that game. It doesn't look like it's probably that good, but uh i got this from that guy on ebay oh, a couple nice. dollars yeah and now i got halo 2. i can't remember though this didn't have a campaign did it it did yeah yep. did, they all did do. Campaign? okay i can't think of one that doesn't actually yeah they all do that was just i think two is just mostly known for the multiplayer though yeah like, i think people yeah. really like multiplayer a lot Total. Second copy of this, I couldn't pass it up for two bucks. Complete. Nice. Mm -hmm. Do you have the standard edition or just another? Platinum? No, I got two platinum hits actually. <laughs> and uh, the funny part was, <laughs> I've been trying to find. I was trying to find this game probably a few years ago, and I couldn't find it anywhere. And they wanted like twenty, thirty bucks for the black label, and I haven't seen it since. So I'm picking those up when I see them. Yeah. Doom. Yeah. The. The hard metal game, the case. Yeah, yeah that uh, comes with a slipcover, by the way, if you ever run across that. Yeah, I don't know. I paid a couple bucks for it, and I was like, yeah, no, just for that. For, just for, for the thing, I was like. Even, like, ten or less, that's worth it. I think a slipcover. this game scared the crap out of me, dude, because I got it on PC. Yeah. And, like, I had, a, I had like, a beefy uh, PC for it. I was like, yeah, dude, this game, and, like, it was so creepy, dude. I couldn't play it. I, I couldn't, yeah. you know. I was so freaked out by it. Like, I never really played games that crazy. You know, Resident Evil was about as crazy as it got. And just the sound effects of that game creeped me out. And, like, I'd start gaming, like, after everybody would go to bed, you know. And, like, I just, I couldn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I'm willing to give it a try now. Yeah. Where the hell? Uh, I haven't really got much into Wii lately, but I've been finding some titles I'm going to start picking up around here. So I thought this looked kind of a cool one for a couple bucks from a lady here in town. Didn't Musty just pick that up? Got this for a couple bucks complete. I want to get this series. Which one's that one? The first one. Yeah, the the, second, yeah. Saga. the yeah. third one is a little bit pricey. That's the one you want yeah. to look out for. I've got 80 bucks. one, which is, of course, the cheapest and worst. <laughs> Probably wouldn't be feasible to ship that to you. Spider-Man. Uh, I don't know why I wanted this. I know it was a launch title for the mm -hmm. PS2, so it's oh, like, yeah. all right. Uh, uh, you know, this guy had these games. Two bucks free shipping, you know. Mm. I'm not a fan of Grand Theft Auto, but uh, I was uh, like, you well, know, might you're as well going a little robot. Just <laughs> give it a second. <laughs> oh. Well, he's frozen on my screen. Yeah. Taking him a little bit of me. Hey, Grand Theft Auto is giving you the glitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Shouldn't be glitched. 
Nah. Okay. My Wi Fi yeah. looks good. My uh, Wi Fi. Uh, yeah. Weird. Whatever. You seem to be okay ish. Is now. it working? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's okay. That's weird. Blurry, but you're audible. Yeah. Arc the Lad. You got You're going to have to start reading the titles. Yeah. <laughs> Arc the Lad. Yep. No, End of Darkness. Article. Yeah, okay. Um, Virtua Fighter 4. Yeah, I, you guys are all clear for me, man. Yeah. Um, Shadows of Destiny. I actually got this at the local store, paid about face value. Nice. Uh, Casper huh? for GameCube. Okay. Yeah. Um, got this for an offer, pretty cheap, like ten bucks. Hmm. Volume two. I got volume one, so now I got the Ataris. Uh, got this as well, five bucks. Ninja Gaiden. Gaiden. Sigma. <laughs> yep. Ninja Gaiden Sigma for PS3. Gaiden. Ninja Gaiden. Uh, ha. <laughs> PS1 Lego Island 2. Am I still pixelated? A little bit. What the heck, dude? That's weird. Sim Theme Park for oh, PS1. Sorry. sorry if I spiked the audio a second ago, by the way. <laughs> Ninja Gaiden. <Yeah. laughs> That's it. Okay. Yep, so. My thrift shopping is my online shopping, I should say, has been lucrative. Okay, so for cheap. Yeah, nice. So how do we want to go order wise? Who has what amount of stuff? I have two things. Okay. We'll yeah, probably just leave mine to the end. Then you guys can step away because you don't care about comics. Anyway, um I'll present Ryan. All right. Yeah, I so, about a minute to put the kids I don't know if your stores, if you hit up your stores recently, but a lot of the Halloween stuff is uh, 70 to 90% off at a lot of places. So, I've been picking up a couple of these things here. So, uh, first one, I picked this one up today for five bucks. That's a panda yeah. mask. Yeah. So, yeah, I have a panda mask now. And, okay. uh, <laughs> and, uh, I picked this one up yesterday, which is a cow mask. So, for two dollars, uh, that's the one I saw you tweet about. I realized Dude, that's I missed awesome. an opportunity. What for Halloween to do the hangout before wearing the Vader mask? <laughs> yeah, I mean that would have been pretty cool to like just do it in mask the whole show yeah. on Halloween in mask. Yeah. But I'll have to save it for next year. Yeah. Okay. So that Enjoy was. Are you doing the Cartridge Club string? I am. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. Okay, uh, Eric, do you have anything? No, I don't. I don't okay, know. let the madness begin. I swear I cut it down. I'll probably just go over a list at the end because I've got my receipt for the rest of it. But um, in books, just to start off, and uh, yeah, Resident Evil reference there for a second, I found one of these for the first time in a long time. Resident Evil, uh, the second book, uh, Caliban Code. That one's based off of Zero? Maybe. It's got no, I think it's just, cover. no, I think it's just called Zero, the one that's based off that. Oh, so that's the bit one based off the first game, I guess? For like Chris's story? Uh, it's the first of the original novels. Like, that's not based on anything. I think they did the first game for the first one, the second game for the second, the third one. It was weird. I have a couple of the others. That's the medic chick, right? Sure. The medic stars agent on the front. Rebecca Chambers. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, um, I got some Star Wars books, got an extra copy of Darksaber. I honestly cannot tell which one's better of the two I have. I got it because I was like, D is mine damaged? I'll grab it anyway. Because, uh, it was like 50 cents. Screw it. But um, I'll figure that out later. Um, 
a couple others. Sorry, everything's all over the place. Um, got Planet of Twilight, The New Rebellion, and the Star Wars classics Lando Calrissian Adventures, which is the original three Lando novels, which were it's the first or second trilogy of books, probably the second trilogy of books ever for them back in the eighties. That's awesome. I never run across those classics. But um, and a uh, hardcover for once. I got Star Wars: The Approaching Storm. Prequel era. Nobody cares. <laughs> Nobody but me. And you got those at a thrift store? Yeah, I think it was uh, just under five bucks for the whole lot. They even had a couple I already had. Like um, I saw Shadows of the Empire, and I saw a hardcover of Attack of the Clones. But I already Let have a hardcover of Attack of the Clones. What? Let me show you something I came across today. I, I, I was cleaning okay. out a storage room. Hold yeah. on, it'll just be a sec. Do, 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 do. Didn't mean to present him. <laughs> but I will now. Like, I, I totally want to check this out sometime. But I, I haven't. Spectre of the Past. Nice. Is that a. Is that the audio? audio? Oh, yeah. nice. Yeah. <laughs> Those are yeah, hard to come like... by. I don't know if they're rare or anything, but they do not show up in thrift stores. Yeah, so I was like, dude, you know, I, I, I came across it today. Uh, Damn it. I have a whole Star Wars over here. You don't have to keep showing that, by the way. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude, 1997, <laughs> This was like uh, around when those book series started coming out, like uh, yeah. the, you know, what was it? Uh, gosh, I read a couple of them too. Jedi Academy and um, the couple of the Fair Jedi Empire. Academy books. Yeah. 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 Actually, I have but that's that era. Me. These ones? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I have the audiobook trilogy of them. Oh really? Oh dude, that that'd be awesome to check out. As well as books two and three of um, Black Fleet Crisis, the uh, Tyrant's Test is the third one, and Shield of Lies is the second one. See you later, Eric. Are those audio? Uh, yeah, and um, I've got half of X Wing Iron Fist because uh, someone messed up. I think there's like some weird pony thing in one of the second. Uh, things. These are display items, anyway. Do they have uh, uh, sound effects and stuff in them, too? I have no idea, but they're the abridged hmm. versions. I saw an unabridged version of Phantom Menace, which was many more cassettes, but they didn't have all the cassettes in them, so I didn't buy it. Boo. Anyway, um, so there's books done. I will show Transformers again. Hunger and uh, Ripper Snapper. You know, try and get Abominus. Obviously, I showed Duocon Battle Trap earlier. Everything is all over the place. Uh, how do I want to do these books? I will run through just a couple comics, because I've got a ton of them. But I got, I think, all the first volumes, except for one, of the uh, Young Animal imprint books from DC. Which has uh, that's a line run for, by Gerard Way, formerly of My Chemical Romance, which is a museum. But um, Shade the Changing Girl, Volume One, Mother Panic, Doom Patrol, knocking everything over, Doom Patrol. Cave Carson has a cybernetic eye. Hmm. All these titles, and uh, Bug: The Adventures of Forager. So looking forward to getting into those. Those are apparently very weird. They get into a crossover called Milk Wars later. So that's how madness that works. I think there's a part of the Doom Patrol story that takes place inside a burrito. I may be misremembering that partially, but I don't think so. Anyway, moving on. Uh, I wish they didn't put the actor from the show in this, 
on the cover because it's not based on the show. It's an original like, 2009 comic, but Black Lightning Year One, like they put the actor from the show on it, but uh, like that's the art in the comic. But it's to help um, sell, probably, you know, the book. Yeah, it'll help sell it. I understand. I just wish uh, they didn't. The do show that. is really well received, from my understanding, too. So. Yeah, uh, unless you look at a certain group of people on IMDb. But uh, <laughs> I can only imagine the group. Oh yeah, but uh, it gets I imagine back. they're the same so. people that hate most of Marvel comics at the moment. So maybe, but uh, anyway, um, I already had a version of this, but Batwoman. Speaking of characters, people hate because they're stupid, but um. This is the complete run, the original run of uh, from Detective Comics. I on, I had the one that only had Elegy in it before, so this has three more issues in it. Figured out I bleh, why am I messing up my words? I'd upgrade to that, and uh, I'll show this first. Uh, I showed this to Cody earlier, but I got the complete Batman versus Predator, all three miniseries, in one book. I o- I only knew that there was one as a kid. Yeah, so, the one from the nineties. Yeah, I've got the original Bucks. trade of that. Yeah. It's, uh, where the hell? Where did I put that stupid thing? There it is. The shelf is literally in front of me, and I couldn't find it. Move stuff around. So there's the original trade. Yep, I had that one. I'm keeping that for nostalgic purposes. But uh, and this is. I'll show those two together. But uh, I got Justice League of America, Power and Glory by Brian Hitch. This is the hardcover edition, the run just before the rebirth, which he carried on into. Uh, I think the tiredness of running around trying to get back <laughs> in time for the hangout, which I didn't manage to do, was catching up with me. Anyway, um, <laughs> I also got... a. Uh, Batman the Dark Knight Detective Volume 1, which is, you can tell, kind of more of the classic style, Bronze Age stuff. It's uh, from right after Infinite, not Infinite Crisis, uh, Crisis on Infinite Earths. So it's the stuff right after that and Batman Year One. But this has art mostly from Alan Davis in it. So if you're at all familiar with Alan Davis, you'll know that that's awesome. Every single one of his issues is in here. Like, you can see some art there. It's maybe not the most impressive of pages, but still, like his art a lot. And there's some at the end from Norm Brainvogel, who just recently passed away. But I am not familiar with his art yet, so I will get into that. And to go along with that, I also got another thing I haven't read. Uh, Justice League of America, The Nail. And another nail. The uh, Elseworlds stories. This is the hardcover, and this is Don, uh, written and drawn by Alan Davis. So you can get a good sense of his art from that, too, later on. Really good stuff. And the last two I'm showing, I swear there's only a couple, because I got these from Amazon. And a couple still have the shrink wrap on them, so sorry for glare. But I got the Volume 1 Deluxe Edition of the second Darth Vader series. Charlie Sold. Yeah, and I'm looking forward to getting into that. This has the first two volumes in it. Issues, uh, red text on black background. Good luck with that. I, I don't know. I've heard good things about his run with Vader. Oh, yeah, I've heard great things, but I've never started it, which annoys me. I read the first deluxe edition for this, so I got the second and third ones uh, for Detective Comics from Rebirth. Really enjoyed the first volume of that. And... Here's volume three. Looks a little sketchy because the plastic wrap's still on it. And the last one of comics. Do you, I will show. Do you order them at your store, or do you just pick them up when you see them at the store? Amazon. Oh, okay. Discounts. I would support mm-hmm. the local store more, but you can't really argue with the discounts. But Nightwing Deluxe Edition. I make sure to go into the store on Free Comic Book Day and buy some stuff. They have nice sales. And, uh, just because I have it with me right here, Teen Titans Volume Two. I got the first volume of this as well. But, uh, yeah. The receipt from that order, there are many more than that. It's two pages long. Like, two full-size pieces of paper long list. 
I went overboard. <laughs> Nothing that, wrong with that, man. But that's it, unless you want me to rapid fire them off the actual list. <laughs> rapid fire and just show us. I wouldn't show you, but I'd just whip it out, man, and show oh, us. Man. Trinity Volume 1, Batgirl Volume 1. Uh, they put them in weird orders. Robin, Son of Batman, Volumes 1 and 2. I'll just skip over the second one when I find it. Martian Manhunter, Volumes 1 and 2. The Flash by Mark Wade, Book 3. Flashpoint, uh, all the Flash stuff from Volume 6 through 9 from New 52. Grayson, Volumes 4 and 5. Uh, Midnighter Volume 2, Midnighter and Apollo, uh, Green Arrow by Mike Grell Volume 7 and 8, uh, Supergirl Volume 1, Rebirth, Superman Birthright, Superman for Tomorrow, and Batgirl Volume 2 and 3 as well. Uh... Gotham Academy second semester volumes two, uh, one and two. Third volume of the previous series is coming tomorrow. Yes, I'm getting more. Not that many, but I had to separate the orders out. Uh, Titans volumes two and three. I'm getting volume one tomorrow. Deathstroke Rebirth volume one. Raven miniseries. Titans Hunt. And that's it. Also, Robin War and Death of Hawkman tomorrow. Done. <laughs> oh, yeah. A lot. But, like, 50, 60% off what retail would be, so. Not on the luxes, unfortunately, but you do what you gotta do. We like okay. It. Video games. <laughs> Let's talk about anything other than comics. Um, unless Ryan wants to talk about comics. Do you guys know what? Uh, tomorrow. <laughs> do you, yeah, do you guys, do you guys know what uh, Costume Quest is? Yes. You heard about the TV series? What? No. Yep. Was that announced today? Uh, a couple days ago, when I went to um, the PlayStation Experience a couple years ago in San Francisco, they I talked to. Uh, the guy at Double Fine, the the big guy, I can't think of his name right now. Tim okay. Schaefer? Who's that? Tim Schaefer? Yeah, Schaefer. Yeah, I was talking to him. Nice. I'm bad with names, but uh, yeah, he was there. I was talking to him. I got a book. Uh, they sold a book. I actually got the book over here in my cabinet if you want to see it. But uh, I, I got a, a Costume Quest book, and I was a big fan of the games, and he was saying, be on the lookout for the uh, TV series coming out. And I've been waiting and waiting. I'm like, I wonder if it fell through. And it just got announced, like, literally last last Friday or something or Thursday, and it's going to be on Amazon. Oh, nice. 2019. Yeah, that, what? Yep. It was announced back in February 2017. Yep. How did I not hear about that? Or I forgot about it. Entirely possible. Yeah. Anyway. So that was one. Um, there's a couple things I had noted down. Um, I'd have to get my notes um, that I'd seen over the week that I thought was interesting. That was one of them. Go ahead, Q Dog. You're muted. I'm <laughs> muted. No, uh, Eric. Q Dog. Yeah, yeah. What's up? I'm sorry. Uh, what is it? Go ahead with what? Oh no! If you if you had anything to say or about no no I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I'm not. I'm distracted. Is this thing on? Oh. What did you guys see? Anything good this week? Or I'm trying to what find the one article that I found. I thought it was interesting. I couldn't share it. The other day, at least when I saw it. When I was at work, but it was like someone put a list of the top 10 selling games for each console, basically, mm. from like the PS2 era or PS1 era. I found some right. of it interesting. I was going to bring it up to you guys here. I was trying to find it. So discuss amongst yourselves for a minute. Well, I'm going to go get my notes, too, because there was a couple things I thought it was interesting to talk about tonight. Let me let me get my notes. 
Remember when I used to bug P1 and P2 about not having notes for the weekly podcast? <laughs> I don't weekly. We weekly. I do not have any notes for tonight. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> I'm sure there's stuff to discuss. I just have no idea right now. I was running back home to get this started. Ugh, that's catching up to me. Yo. Hey. No, actually, um, my notes was my new pickups. Uh, Castlevania's already set up for a new season. Did you see that? Yeah, and I watched season two. It's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Slight so there's... spoilers that, and this is for anyone who hasn't watched it. Q Dog, have you watched it yet? I know you don't watch many things or play many games. And you're muted. Is this Castlevania? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't watched it yet. So you're going to talk spoilers? I was going to talk a oh. character. Go ahead. I, it's all right. I was going to say. <laughs> Which no, I, I have yet to really play Castlevania 3, but I still am like bummed that Grant isn't in it. Oh, okay. Yeah. No no, and I know he wasn't in the first season. There's yeah. only like, what, four episodes in the first season. There's eight in the second season. Yeah. So but, together they form one <laughs> season. Yeah. But they all like work as a team. And I'm like, where's when's, when are they going to pull Grant out? And then I, I, I figured by episode seven, no he's way. probably not coming here. So, nope. So. Just want to know if everyone was disappointed in that. Who, who was who was Grant again? He's the guy you can climb on walls in Castlevania Three. Oh, He's in Three. Yeah, yeah. I never played essentially, three. that's what the series is based off of. Is Three yeah. right now? I yeah, I have it. I just haven't played it. And without getting into a lot of details, but I did appreciate this, especially going back and looking at the timeline of the whole series, uh, just to compare. This mm-hmm. does bring up stuff from the PS2 games. Like the uh, Lament of Innocence and Curse of Darkness, in ways yeah. that are actually interesting. Well, you don't need to be familiar. I'm just saying that. Just like those are no, factors. No, I, I, I'm a big fan of the PS2 ones, and yeah. I'm going to tell you what. There's actual screen screenshots of the game in that <laughs> awesome. of certain things, like the picture of. Um, uh, don't get into I, it. I'm trying to keep it vague for Eric. Let's just say there's a painting in there that's in the video game. Yes. You can't miss it. Yes, you I, can't like miss it. <laughs> I like that one. I like that one. I do not like how they portrayed the uh, hero from the second game, though. The second PS2 game. Oh. Yeah, I, don't, with I don't like how they rolled him out too much. but Yeah, I figure he'll get development in the next season. But uh... Yeah. I mean, I it's interesting, no doubt, mm-hmm. definitely interesting. But I I wasn't a big fan of how they rolled him out because he was actually yeah. after playing the PS2 games, that guy's like a badass. <laughs> yeah, but again, I assume the PS2 the PS2 games like three years later, so there's some time to fill. Like from how he is in the show to how he is at the beginning of that game. But I thought introducing them was like, yeah, that's a really good way to continue it on. To make sure you have places to go. Oh, who else found the cursing really stupid? Me. I thought that was <laughs> retarded. I didn't like that one bit. Yeah. I was like thinking seriously, like that was necessary for that era. Yeah. I don't using think so. the R word is not a thing. Uh, it's probably just as bad as the, using the words the cur- they use in the show. Cursing uh, doesn't. The cursing doesn't bother me as much. I was expecting from the general reaction I saw online, people were saying it was like every other word. I don't think it was dropped as much. As it, we- not that much, but it kind of felt like it, especially for certain characters. Like the one character is like, they say it, and I'm just keeping everything vague again. They say it like four or five times, and they're not on screen every episode. And it's just mm-hmm. like every single line of theirs, I not a. Uh, I don't think there's even a character from the games, but not Godbrand. That that character is the only one that made sense to curse as much as they did. Yeah. But um. Yeah, the other kind of. The f word. Yeah, but like. Yeah, I didn't the like the other that. character. 
the, the thing with vampires, especially in Castlevania, they're supposed to be a little bit more regal. And this yeah. taking place long ago, like in the 1400s or something, I think. Mm-hmm. But so, like, I don't know how much those words were used at that particular time, but it doesn't feel right watching that kind of show now and seeing that, especially yeah. being based on an NES game. I mean, the show is super violent, so you can't really call it PG or anything. But it's like, it doesn't fit the dialogue. No. Especially for the one character that says it the most, other than Godbrand. But, um, yeah, I'll just say she. Uh, ugh, every line of hers that had the F word in it, I took it out in my brain. I'm like, yeah, the line would have been better without that. It didn't add anything. <laughs> it doesn't even fit her character. It occurs as much as she does. I want to say, uh, I think for the next season, because it's getting a third season, I think mm-hmm. they're going to go with a different story for, for from the games, personally. I don't think they're going to stick with the Castlevania 3. I kind of hope so, especially since Trevor is the worst character of that entire show. Trevor? (laughs) Yeah, he's horrible. Trevor? Not Trevor? Yeah, that was amusing. Yeah, that was good. I thought that was funny. Yeah. There are a couple scenes in which he makes Alucard worse, which is also not the best. But uh, actually, I like the the explain why he's a moody moody person, basically. I thought that was really... I, I like that. It was really funny. Yep. And I, to me, it worked. To me, I was like, God, I buy it. I buy it. So. Mm-hmm. so, yeah. We're getting a little close to being specific. I know. But that's knowing that scene, that was amusing. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, yeah, a lot of his interactions with Trevor were not fantastic. Um, yeah, and I guess allegedly that guy's going to be working on a Legend of Zelda animated series now or something. That's all, like, I believe that Rumor was, speculation. he announced something, I think he literally said, like, I'm working on another project with another big Japanese company. Yeah. That is it. And then everyone's like, is that, is that Zelda? And then everyone's like, that might be a Zelda show. And it's like, that's the news. And it's like, he said nothing of the kind. <laughs> I really hope it's not Zelda. <laughs> <laughs> I really hope it's not anything, honestly. I do not like Adi Shankar just because I feel like he uses violence and cursing more than is necessary for the subject material, depending on what he's making. Like, to excess. Like, there's using it enough, and then there's using it as much as he does. That's the main thing that I was worried about with this entire Castlevania show was his influence on it. And that's what happened. <laughs> But it's a good show, I will say. It's I don't have it enough out against him to say that the show is bad. I'm just saying that his influence in terms of mature content could have made it worse. What else has that guy done? <laughs> the the dark gritty fan film of Power Rangers. Mm. The uh, Punisher Dirty Laundry fan film. The one with Tom Jane and Ron Perlman in it. And I'm sure other things, but after seeing those specifically, I was worried. <laughs> now let's see what else he's done. I could be completely wrong about this being his thing, that he's the one influencing that kind of content, but still. Also, the pacing of season two, you can I saw someone mention it in a video that like it feels like they rushed to that point at the end just have it within this season rather than when they actually planned it out. Because apparently this is all taken from a movie pitch that was done by Warren Ellis, who wrote the show. So apparently he he pitched that as a movie trilogy. And they're working from his script. This is allegedly from what I heard. And that was not supposed to be in the second season. But they're like, you are doing this now. We didn't do it in season one. We got to do it in season two. That's the conjecture on that. He was an executive yeah. producer on Dread. <laughs> that makes sense. The Gray, Machine Gun Preacher. Lone Survivor. This is all production roles. James Bond in service of nothing. Never heard of that. He was a producer on Body that's coming out.
and some kind of Assassin's Creed thing is coming up apparently. Yeah, not like a ton, but enough. You can kind of get his brand from that. He also worked on the Venom Truth and Journalism fan film. Apparently. Anyway, enough about that. Unless you want to get back into the actual show. I was trying, um I was I found what I was talking about here and I just thought it was interesting here for like the games of the PlayStation 1 64 Saturn era. Um Anyone want to take a guess at what PlayStation 1's number one selling game of all time was? Final Fantasy VII. Grand Theft Auto 2. I mean, Grand Turismo 2. Spyro. Or Crash Bandicoot. Crash Bandicoot was number one. Hmm. Um, Grand Turismo sense. Racing was number two. Final Fantasy VII was number three. Hmm. Turismo 2 <laughs> was number four. All right. So. Man, I see Grand Turismo 2 everywhere. Crash yeah. Bandicoot Warped was number five. Hmm. Tony Hawk Pro Skater was seven. Tekken three was number six. Metal Gear Solid was number eight. Crash Bandicoot two is number nine. Driver was number ten. So that's that. Driver. Driver was number ten. Yeah. Okay, that's the one I wasn't expecting to be that high. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> Saturn's got some interesting ones in there. Ooh, Saturn! Yeah. I can step away from it. I'll be back. Sure. Saturn top ten. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Give us a second. Is there a Madden on the list? Yep, it's number one. <laughs> yeah. Do you think it's because they were always known for having probably the better version of Madden on the Genesis? Maybe. Or because... I don't know. It, it just it, it was such a small market that Madden was going to be a big, uh, a big seller on that. Uh, Madden 97 was number one. Yeah. Hold on, let me Night think. Knights was number two. Okay. Which is a shame because I would like to find Knights and not be so expensive. Uh, really? So Knights is number two. Virtual Fighter Virtual Fighter Two. Oh, Virtua yeah. Fighter. <clears throat> Virtual Fighter Two. Three. Daytona USA was four. Virtual Cop was number five. Tomb Raider was number six. Sega Rally Championship was seven. Sonic 3D Blast was eight. World Series Baseball is number nine, and Panzer Dragoon was number ten. Okay. Now here's a real man's console, sixty-four. Hmm. Well, either Mario or Zelda is number one. Let's go with Mario. Cody. For which one? Sixty-four. Best-selling game. Mm-hmm. Double O Seven. Yeah. Mario 64 was number one. Goldeneye was number two. Two. Damn. Mario Kart 64 is three. Ocarina of Time was four. Pokemon Steam is five. Donkey Kong 64 was six. Star Fox is seven. Smash Brothers eight. Diddy Kong Racing nine. Shadows of the Empire ten. Okay. We got Dreamcast on here too. I'll skip over Game Boy because eh, it's not a real console. What's Let me Dreamcast? Guess, let me guess Dreamcast, a couple on Dreamcast. So I'm guessing either NFL K, 2K1 or 2K2 is number one. Probably 2K. Yep. That's what I was going to say, NFL 2K. You're right. NFL 2K is number one. NFL 2K1 is number two. <laughs> <laughs> so you were you're right there. Uh, uh, Sonic Adventures was three, NBA 2K was four, NBA 2K1 was five, Crazy Taxi is six, Soul Calibur is seven, Ready to Rumble Boxing is eight, Shinmu is nine, Code Veronica is ten. Uh, okay. Shinmu made it into the top ten. Good. Yep. <laughs> I dude, I actually love Fantasy Star on that man. I played that online on the Dreamcast. Uh, mm-hmm. Fantasy Star online that game, I got hooked, dude. I love that game. I think I remember renting that because I think my but we we were definitely messing with the dial the dial of internet at my buddy um, Richard's house because like he got his dad got a Dreamcast on 
nine nine ninety nine. Oh, really? Um, so, like, I remember when they got it because he t- uh, he told me I think I can't. Was that a Friday? I can't remember exactly. I think I want to say it was a Friday just for, and maybe he got it another day. Who knows? But that week it came out. Um, I remember he told me at school that his dad was getting it and he come over, you know, later after supper basically and spend the night. So, um, yeah, I crashed at his house and we just played, you know, his, I think his dad bought a couple games and then he just went to blockbuster and rented like everything that he could. So for like Friday night and then I know he spent, I stayed the night also Saturday night. I just went home, like showered, had lunch and then I came back or something like that. Um, and then yeah, we did like a Friday, Saturday and then Sunday I stayed home basically, but that was, that was a lot of fun for like the Dreamcast for that weekend. Yeah. So that's all we did was play that the whole weekend. So I really like Sonic Adventure on that. And I didn't play that till later. And when I finally did, I was like, oh my gosh, this is a great Sonic game. You know, better than I was expecting it to be. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I had play two. I just got that on Xbox a little while ago. What's that? So- uh, Sonic Adventure 2. Yeah. yeah. I tried to get that at the con. I tried to buy, talk a guy down. Hmm. And yeah, I don't know. I've seen the price on eBay and I know about what what I would like to pay for it, you know? So I shot him my offer and he was like, no, he had like 58 bucks on it. And hmm. like, nah. <laughs> you know, I turned down and I kind of wish I would have, I would have got it, but. You know, I need to go for the Dreamcast version too, so because that's got more stuff in it, I think. But uh, sit for both of them. But uh, how recent of consoles do you have, by the way? Me? Like, what's the newest consoles you have, generation wise? PS4. Oh, okay. Right, you yeah. do have a PS4. <laughs> I, I got every. I pretty much got everything. Do you have Xbox One? I don't have Xbox one and i don't have 360. okay i used to have 360 but after red ring of death twice i gave up on it and was done with it understandable but uh those sonic adventure reports are on both of those probably on ps3 as well yep they are i haven't bought the ports because i want to get the original okay but that's a cheaper and and more upgraded way to go it, it is, it is, but it doesn't come with that physical feature. Yeah. It doesn't come with that uh, art, you know. Yeah. Because I mean, like, the thing I don't like the digital at all. Because, I mean, you it like with three sixty, you 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 know, the digital on PS or the Xbox three sixty, you would be locked out of a something if your internet was disconnected that day for some reason or mm-hmm. another. You know. I don't remember if that's still a thing, but that might depend on Jim. I actually bought a lot, quite a bit, and I ended up giving that account to my son. Mm. And, uh, you know, I got a lot of shmups on there I bought and, uh, you know, arcade games, you know. Mm. Yeah, I got a ton of games on Xbox. That's pretty much my main system, especially for a third party. (laughs) 360 and Xbox One. But I just I I'm not anti Xbox. I just no, that's fine. I'm sticking to one system right now. Yeah. Because I know it was a, a hassle when I was trying to juggle both those, and I wasn't yeah. at that point collecting retro like I am. Mm. You know, I was trying to keep up with mainstream releases. So I'd be getting you know PS3, uh, even in that time, some PS2 games every now and then, then a 360 or an Xbox game, and it was just like. Too much. <laughs> Too much. Yeah, man. I was yeah. getting, I mean, literally all the new releases, and it, it wasn't like, I, I guess, you know, the money thing, I'd get in trouble for it every now and then, you know, <laughs> I'd get in trouble for it. And I decided that I wasn't going to do that anymore after the PS3 360 gen. You know, yeah. I was like, I'm not doing that. That's the more reasonable way to go. Uh, hopefully they go iterative and you can just pick up like one of the later Xboxes or something and everything will still work on it. I really do hope they just go iterative. There's no reason for generation cutoffs at this point. Oh yeah. Uh, you know, it, it, my, that would make a lot of sense. And I think full backward compatibility, yeah. regardless of 
the you know the drive you know they need to put that drive in there to play your physical media mm -hmm. and show that hey you've been a loyal customer that stuff that you own is yours or you know instead of trying to phase it out because it's not yeah. it's not gonna it's not gonna get phased out somebody's just gonna make a aftermarket product if they're not going to support it somebody's just going to make that aftermarket market product and make that money yeah. when they'd be smart just to keep that type of optical system in their system to play that back backwards compatibility and keep uh a sign of loyalty to the products that they have already released and also show that hey you know we want you to spend your money with us not with some third party guy who's going to play our products yeah or with something <laughs> And what would be cool too is if they actually did that and they actually figured out a way okay you boot your 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 game in and you know how they got trophies trophy systems set up for these games that ain't even on a network now integrate something like that into a, a script uh you know in their networking yeah. let's say okay he just put in uh halo 2 you know there's no trophies for that unless there was a remake on the 360. I can't remember, but there's a remake for all of them on Xbox One now. The, okay. The 360 did the one for the first one, and then they did a Halo Master Chief Collection for one through four. And that was the first time you got a remake of two. Carry on. <laughs> but you know, okay, the PS2 era, then you know, mm. Sony hasn't gone that route. If they would put something in their thing, okay, yeah, he just plugged in Xeno Saga. We're gonna give him a trophy list now, you know, and things like that. Be cool. You know, they could get inventive. They could get inventive. They could be smart and buy up, buy back their own used market products, and then resell it too. Clean it up, resell it. I mean, Sony. You know, if one of those guys did that instead of. Saying okay, this is all third party, you know, third third party people gonna take this in, offer you cash for it. No, why don't they say, hey, first party used business, bring back our products to us, and we'll give you credit or something like that yeah. on our networks. We'll clean it up and resell it. You know, Sony genuine refurbished games. You know, I mean, shoot, they'd be sitting on some bank. You know, they need yeah. to hire me. <laughs> I mean, it would be good as long as they don't also shut down other third-party sellers, as long as they're, like, an option to it's go. It's their product. It's yeah. their product. Yeah, know? but I mean, like, just in terms of consumer, um, what's the word? Consumer care? No. Well, they, I mean, but, the, uh, the customer still has the option to yeah. take it to their third-party seller, like GameStop yeah. or wherever. You know sell it to your buddy at a pawn shop or something like that but they could also do something say hey i'm gonna send this into sony sony might do a deal with them if they do something like that with them yeah. offer them some credit or trade yeah. or something but then they could actually control their own past stock that way too mm -hmm. and maybe even generate some kind of system that would you know draw more hype into that idea of like okay let's keep those optical drives of those past systems in every one of our system to come just yeah. to show that you know there's not going to be in every single one but there's going to be a disc based console for at least the next few iterations i'm pretty sure just because that's there's no way in hell people are ready to go full digital but um no what xbox i think their plan is supposed to do or at least the idea is that they're going to have the disc box, but they're also going to have a smaller, cheaper one that doesn't have one that's a streaming box, which I think is a great idea, actually. Have it as an option. Like, if you don't care about the physical media, if you don't need the drive, if you can't afford the other one, it's here, pay like 100 bucks for a set-top box and stream it all to it. Because we're working on the streaming. And oh, I, a lot of people are, are always like, oh, the end of physical media, everything's burning down. But it's like, it's great to have all these options as well. Like, you're not going to buy every movie, but you can watch some of them on Netflix that you wouldn't have otherwise bought. Like, that kind of thing. Like, you have both options. I want that to be a thing. Anyway. Yeah. Soapbox, done. But, um, <laughs> you know, and the thing is, is, like, these little products that they're trying to, that, like, Nintendo, their minis and that, and, like, mm -hmm. the PlayStation, you know, uh, PS1 classic. Mm -hmm. It's like, why don't they just it's going to get hacked. It's going to get messed with. It's like, why don't you just leave that thing somehow open to a Wi-Fi connection to make purchases and entice the idea of making purchases with this and expanding your product that 
you're making instead of just saying, okay, we're going to give you a closed circuit, 20 games, 30 games, you know, but we're going to leave a USB port on it so it can get hacked. You know, I mean, that's just stupid. You know, it's really dumb on their end. It's like, why not just the items? Why not just, you know, do like uh, sell, sell a big, you know, Nintendo. I'm surprised they didn't think of like, Oh, let's get the SD card out there on the market and you know offer a super large SD card and let you load your own games that you purchased from us, you know. Yeah, or Things just like do an that. eShop on the Switch. Yeah, <laughs> which they still haven't gotten to yet for their classic titles, other than the um, streaming of some NES titles that doesn't work the best. But um, I still haven't tried that, but I've heard mixed things. But yeah, they just need to have the options. Yeah, I think those are fine just for like collector pieces, novelty things, and great as cheaper options for people who don't want to buy the full new consoles. But uh, which is why I'm glad they went with the little plug and play box rather than a disc, because then you that's instead of being a sixty dollar disc or a forty dollar disc or whatever it would have been, it's a two hundred and fifty three hundred dollar disc because there are people that don't have the console. Yeah. So they you can, know, sorry, God. No, go ahead. Go ahead. I, was I just, just had this way they can just have a little knickknack in Walmart that people can buy for their kid for Christmas and stuff like that. As long as they keep it in stock, which they haven't. <laughs> I just I can't believe the hype behind that when you really think about it. And it's mm-hmm. like I, I I find myself getting sucked into it too. And it's like, you know, I've got them both. I'm more into the old school big clunky thing, but I get sucked into it too, you know, and I'm just like, I want it, you know? And yeah, it's you know. like in the book console wars they kind of talk about it and it's part of nintendo's strategy too when when you um kind of hear something's hard to get or it's really in demand that once you stumble upon it in a store and there's like one or two left you're more likely going to grab it because of that hype and everything you know <laughs> do you guys ever get that feeling in your gut i mean you know i'm i'm definitely you know older than you guys you know i'm probably about q dog's age and like I get that <laughs> feeling. Like, you know, you're old. <laughs> I get that. I get that feeling in my gut still, though. You know, it's just under my under my stomach. You know, that little hot pocket. You know, and you're yeah, just like, uh, oh, like, if I, I don't buy this now, I'm not going to get it later. Yeah, the anxiety yeah. of it too. You're just like, yeah. you just feel it right there in your stomach, like, oh, I gotta have, you know. Yeah, I got a little bit <laughs> of that today. I think. <laughs> yeah, and I still get it. You know, it's hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> That's the exact thing that happened to Transformers. Like, I have never seen this guy in stock at a store. If I don't grab this now, the line is going to end, and I'm going to be stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I, I get, I get that real bad on on eBay. Like, mm-hmm. real bad. Like, especially if I find a guy who's got a jackpot of stuff, I'm just like, oh man, you know. And if he takes offers in that, I'm just like going crazy. <laughs> How about you, Q Dog? Do you ever get that way? You haven't seen yeah. him at a convention enough. Yeah. So he doesn't oh, do the negotiating I... for his own stuff. Yeah, that's that's probably why. But do you still get that feeling too, though, Eric? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've I've grabbed things because I know that I probably wasn't going to see him again, and I might not have bought them and otherwise. You know, you cracked me up. You were definitely getting hyped with. Uh, uh, Miss Q Dog's brother there the, over the uh, what was it Final Fantasy Legend games the, one of those last things you're going after and you guys were searching for was that you okay. you uh, were with them and like you were getting all hyped up <laughs> maybe I, I I don't remember getting hyped up about Final Fantasy Legend but those were something we were looking at with Jeremy yeah. Um, but, but you were getting excited about it too. Like you got to go over there. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. 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 I mean, you know, when something's sitting right in front of you, it's a lot easier to just go for it. And I think ahead. I know which one you were saying was the honey hole now too. The more I think about it. Okay. It was in the back. It was in the corner. Now down to the you, right. Why did you walk at the door? You look all the way, make a door, make a, all turn the right and go all the way down. All the way down. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Right next to John Riggs. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good uh, – they, they got a couple of guys running it. The only problem is, yeah, that we would bundle a bunch of stuff and it would end up coming from three different guys, and so they'd all have to negotiate, you know, mm-hmm. figure it out. But, yep. When I'm already kind of – I'm already planning, like, the next one of those I go to, what I'm going to be looking for. 
And I think I'm going to try to stick to my guns a little more and not be so, oh, yeah, that, that, that. And I know that that's, you know, that that's the tough thing about that is, you know, staying disciplined, I bet. Yeah. You know, I, when you my, got the my, cash. My <laughs> ultimate goal, that first thing I do is I always try to do a walk around for everything. I look at prices in generally, but because we know of the honey hole, like, I was instantly <laughs> going straight there. No, like as soon as, like there's no there's no need to look around. You go to the honey hole, you find exactly what you want from the honey hole, and then look around at everything. Yeah, else. if the honey hole has something you want, just buy it there because because number one, his better. prices his prices number one are already lower than everyone else's, and he's gonna come down more. Yeah. You know, yeah. That's the well. Thing I mean, I'm, honey I'm, hole. I'm, I mean, I'm not just talking about honey hole. I'm just saying like the event the event in general. You know, well, yeah. going he's there said, more disciplined. You know. You go to enough of these <laughs> conventions, you know what you start to recognize the same vendors, and then you get to know which guys you can negotiate with and which guys are going to give you trouble to negotiate with, and then you just start avoiding all those tables that get the guys you know they are yeah. you know, hard to negotiate with, you know. Yeah. And then throughout the convention, you will skip over them and keep coming back to those places to see if they got anything new, because sometimes they restock, you know. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep, and sometimes yeah. the vendors give up at the end and you can start making some deals, you know? So do a lot of the same guys come to like the Midwest one that were at the Portland one. You definitely see some of the same ones there. Um, like bad graphics gamers they're 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 at almost every convention. Uh, the, the guys, the Q dog bought his Buster Douglas from are always at a convention mm-hmm. and they're like, they're terrible to negotiate with. They never cut any deals for anything. Um, but yeah, they're like staples. Every time you see one, I must have got a deal on his Digger T Rock from um, the redhead guy from that group. But um, oh, really? Yeah, that's the guy who bought my Sega console thing. I think Sega console thing. What's that? The the Sega display unit at the auction two years ago. I don't. I don't ever see them the make any guy. money ever at the conventions. I never see them make money. They just sit there with their incredibly pricey stuff that they won't come down on prices on, and they just sit there all weekend. No, I never see anyone make any deals with them at all. Yeah. No, I mean, I, you know, I'm just saying it's like I don't know how they make any money, and they're at every convention. When I never see anyone buy anything from them. So. Oh, really? You've never seen anything? Which well. which guy's that? Or I don't which, remember uh, what they're called. I can't remember what their name of the shop is, but there's like. They used to be they used to all share the same table. Now they all like they're kind of spread out because I think the redheaded guy moved from Chicago to Ohio, mm-hmm. and but essentially like, um, but I don't know like they're they're just they're not bad guys, but they're just like they don't negotiate. And if you don't negotiate, I don't do business with you. And then the last two conventions I've seen it seen them with, all they have is expensive stuff. It's all behind, you know, glass, glass, you know, lock cabinets. So if you want to see it, you know, you have to ask mm-hmm. them to open it up and take a look. But they won't come down in price at all. So I forgot. I think Musty tried um, making a deal to get um, Tension Tetris off them, and they wouldn't come down. Like Musty was giving away more stuff, and they still want him to pay money. And then he took it to some other table. And he traded one of those games that he was trying to trade for them, and he got to he got a Tengen Tetris. So, yeah. no deals from those guys. Just no. avoid them. So, no, they wouldn't take my trade ins either. For uh, nope, they're terrible. Buster Douglas. All I right. think Musty got them though for the um, Metal Slug, where he did that. You know, like oh, do you, would you give me start credit? You know, and I go, oh yeah, no problem. And then he. Uh, Trade on them that shoot in blue, you know, Pokemon Blue and some other stuff. And then essentially all the credit they gave him was enough. Like it was like $125 for store credit. And he just said, okay, I'll take that metal slug off your hands, you know. So, <laughs> and they were probably, Ugh. yeah, it was one of those ones that are like, okay. <laughs> must be lurking in the chat, apparently. <laughs> or he just got in. Oh, yeah. But, uh, well, I got to drop, so. Yeah. yeah, it's 11.30. Might as well, right? Oh, man. Yeah, all right. Well, thanks, guys. I will, Until next uh, week. Check you next week. Yep. All right, guys. Okay. See Sorry, you must see you. Got it right at the end. <laughs> 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 all right. Uh, well, is Musty going to join? I'll stick around. 
Yeah. Yeah, Musty, do you want to jump in here for a few minutes? Started late, so it's not going to run like over three hours. It says no worries, so I think we can just go. All, All right. right. See everyone next week. Yeah, see you, man.